Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll explain you how to enter a manual functional currency journal and how to post that. So let's get into the uh, details. So in our last sessions, we have seen uh, how to open or close CL period. So once the period is open, we can start entering the journals. So this is the navigation, general accounting and uh, journals. So in order to enter the generals, you need to have a, a minimum of this, uh, any of these roles, general, general accountant or general accounting manager. So now let's get into the system and see how we can enter the manual functional currency journals. So I logged into Fusion Cloud. So general accounting journals. And then uh, click on create journal. Okay, so this is how your general entry screen looks like. So at the top, you can see general batch and then the journal header and then the journal lines. <coughs> so batch is basically, journal batch is basically a, a way of a grouping different uh, journal headers. And within the journal header, you have different journal lines. So probably you can also click on say show more <coughs> to see other details related to this particular journal. So let me enter a, a meaningful journal batch name. So probably I just want to call it as maybe uh, accrual journal batch for the month of March, 2024. And as far as the description is concerned, probably I can just use the same thing or I can leave it blank. So in this case, I just want to use the same description. And balance type, you can see it's defaulted to actual. So there are two balance types. One is actual and the other one is budget. As we are talking about actual journals, so it's defaulted to actual. Accounting period, <clears throat> the drop down shows uh, all the open periods open our future interval periods under uh, this particular ledger. So I want to enter a journal uh, for the month of March. So March is defaulted uh, based on the uh, CIS date. And uh, this is where if you want, you can enter any attachments backing up uh, for this particular journal. So if you have any background email change going on or any specific documents related to this particular journal batch, you can click on this plus button. And here you have an options. So whether you want to upload a file or a text or a URL, accordingly, you can update those or upload those attachments. And the source is defaulted to manual because the manual journal entry which we are entering from front end screens, it's not a spreadsheet upload. So hence you can see the source is up manual. <laughs> Approval status, it says not required because for the manual journal source uh, in this environment, we have disabled the uh, approval. Probably I'll create a separate video on how to <laughs> Uh, write the general approval rules and enable the approval. For, but for the time being, I've sp specifically disabled the approval uh, process so that I can just focus on how to enter the general and post the general. Fund status, it is uh, not attempted. So fund status would be enabled if you use a uh, budgetary control. And batch status, as we have not entered uh, any batch details as such, so it's the, the, the current status is unposted. Once you post, the, the status changes from unposted to posted. Completion status is incomplete as we have not yet completed the data entry part. It shows, it, it shows the incomplete status. <clears throat> and as far as the control totals are concerned, if you want, you can enter a control total. If you enter a control total of say $100,000, then uh, the, the sum of all the journals under this particular batch should not enter $100,000. I've seen very few clients who use uh, these uh, control totals. So similarly, this is the general header part. So let me enter a meaningful name for the general header. Probably I can use the same batch name as the journal name and uh, copy the same thing as the description. And in the drop down, it shows all the ledgers for which I have access. So in this case, I have access to only to this particular ledger. And this ledger is coming in the drop down. And accounting date. So accounting date, it shows all the dates under March period, which is what we have entered here. So if you go to 
say February. So uh, all these dates are grayed out. <coughs> category. So I just want to use an accrual category. Currency. So it's a uh, USD is defaulted, which is the functional currency of my ledger. If I want to enter a foreign currency general, I can choose these things. But again, I will create a separate video on how to uh, enter a foreign currency general. So that would be my next video. So in the current video, let me focus on creating a functional currency journal. So this current conversion date, conversion rate type, conversion rate. So this will have a significance if it's a foreign currency general. In the case of functional currency general, these do not have any significance. So this is the journal line. So enter the account which you want to debit and the account which you want to credit. So, so probably expand this so that you will be able to see this. So click on this, enter your account code combination, the account which you want to debit. So probably I just want to use this combination. So this would be an accrual, right? So I just want to debit uh, sales salaries intercompany expend uh, intercompany segment being zero or say fifteen thousand dollars and credit the accrual account. Approval. Uh, yeah, there is an accrued salaries and wages account, and then the intercompany segment. If I want, I can uh, and sorry, yeah, I can enter the general line descriptions as well. So I can just say. Accrual salaries for the month of March 2024. I can use the same description for both the lines. So it's not mandatory you can cl uh, to click on this complete button, but uh, if you want, you can click on the complete button and then post. If you directly click, click on uh, post button, it will automatically complete this. See, you can see <clears throat> the bash status uh, changed from unposted to selected for posting and completion status is also changed from incomplete to complete. So let me make a note of this particular general batch. Let us go to the schedule process. There is a uh, process, posting process, which got triggered. You can wait for the process to be complete or if you want, you can go and manually check the schedule process. <clears throat> yeah, so it is succeeded. This is the one posting journals for a single ledger. So that's completed. Now let's go back to general accounting journals, search for our journal and it should be posted status. So in order to search for the journals, you need to use manual, manual journals. In order to create, you need to use create journals. But in order to search for the journals, you need to use manage journals. And here you can see stars, at least one is required. So when you are doing a search in the search criteria, at least one of these is required. So I already know the batch name. <coughs> so click on this hyperlink, which will take you to the general batch. So here you can see batch status is posted. Earlier it was selected for posting. <clears throat> and here you can also click on this refresh button. If you click on refresh button, it will show you the, <clears throat> and uh, it for this particular, so now my cursor is here. So for line one, 
it is showing if you want you need not go to the gl balance inquiry screen and within this screen itself you will be able to see what is my ptd balance for the particular account code combination so ptd balance is 15,010. so in my current general it is 15,000. looks like somebody else has already used the same account code combination in some other general and uh, entered uh, uh, or debited that account for ten dollars and hence you are able to see fifteen thousand ten debit for that account combination so if you want to see QTD, you can check the QTD. YTD, you can check the YTD. Of course, in this case, looks like uh, the PTD, QTD, and YTD is uh, exactly the same. So that means this particular account combination is not used in any other periods. So now <clears throat> let me keep my cursor here and again click on refresh. So when you click on refresh, you can see the account combination changes. So now for this account combination, there's a credit balance of 15,010 for this account. Again, it's the same thing. It looks like for this particular account, somebody has used this particular account and credited this account by $10 in some other journal. So remember, whatever you can see here is the balance for that account combination. Whatever you can see here is the uh, the, uh, the amount for which this particular account is debited or created only in this particular journal. Okay, so this is how you create a manual journal entry. In my next uh, video, I'll show you how to create the foreign currency journal and what are the prerequisites in order to create a foreign currency journal. Thank you. Thanks for watching my video. For interesting videos on our actual financials, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.